So I'm joined with Tim Whitehead, from who's the executive director at Galcom International. And Tim, what what does your ministry do? If someone hasn't heard of heard of it in the first place, what what's the main purpose? What's your vision? Well, we at Galcom believe everybody needs to know about Jesus Christ, but there just aren't enough workers to go around the world as missionaries to do it. And there's all other sorts of barriers, literacy barriers and infrastructure barriers. So what we do is we go into some of the most remote areas on earth and build radio stations, train the local pastor or missionary how to run it. And now that pastor can reach a massive audience, 10,000, 20,000 people every day with the good news of Jesus Christ. And we make, and I'm holding it up here for our radio listeners who can't see it, a solar powered, fixed tuned radio and audio Bible. And then we distribute thousands of these to that community. And so people are then locked onto that Christian radio station with a little audio Bible in their mother tongue. And now that one pastor, instead of maybe seeing people once a week at church, is talking to them every day about Jesus. Wow. That's what we do. Wow. And that's so cool because, I mean, here in North America, it's so easy to take it for granted. You know, just, you have access, whether it's on your phone or the like the paper version of the Bible. But there's so many people that don't have that. So what what was the heart behind it? Like, why did why did this start in the first place? Sure. So back in the 1980s, at the height of the Cold War era, uh, there was countries where you just couldn't go into. You couldn't go into the former Soviet Union, into China, that whole that whole communist bloc. And so a couple of big radio ministries, shortwave radio ministries, Transworld Radio, Far East Broadcasting, and HCJB, worked started working together, and they called it the World by 2000. Cover the whole world with Christian radio, so we can get into these countries. And our founder was working as a missionary in northern uh, Kenya, and he knew there was a broadcast in the local language from one of these ministries. And he looked around at the grass huts, and he thought, nobody here owns a radio. And so God said, Alan, his name was Alan McGurl, he said, Alan, you give them the radios. But God, they don't have electricity. I'll then make them battery powered, but they don't have any money. Make them solar powered so they don't those batteries don't run out. So that was a real call from God to start the ministry back in 1989. And since then... 1.5 million radios around the world and over 200 stations from this little ministry in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Wow, that's so cool. It's so funny because sometimes like, I mean, I'm sure you have it in your own life. You have questions, you're like, oh, I can't do that. Like how? And then God's like, I got you. Like you just, this is how, like there's always answers. So it's so cool to see. So kind of transitioning, you guys are going to be part of Mission Fest here in Manitoba. So what are you most excited for that leaving Hamilton for a few days in February from the second to the fourth, what are you most looking forward to? Oh, the weather, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In Winnipeg, yeah, that's what we're going for. It's, it's thirty <laughs> degrees and sunny as I'm looking outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we're always looking for are partners. So here's the thing about Galcom: we just do the technical side. We build the station. We build the radios. We don't speak all these other languages. So we're out there to meet other mission agencies that have maybe a worker on the ground. And we don't have missionaries around the world. We're just this little group of of people here in Hamilton. So we're always looking for people that are either recording content. uh, Maybe they're going to somewhere and and want some equipment so they can reach more people. Um, And so we're always looking for people that want to participate in the Great Commission. Um, We're taking a lot of mission trips this year. We're going down to Oaxaca, Mexico to hand out audio Bibles. We're going down to to Peru and Ecuador. Uh, We're hoping to go to Albania. Uh, we're building radio stations in South Sudan. And, and so we're looking for people that want to say, yeah, I, I can give a couple weeks to serve God in the Great Commission with the skills and abilities that I have. You know, what better fit? You know, you guys are building radio stations. We're a radio station. So just kind of joining and helping share your story. So if somebody wants to find out more about you or find out more about Mission Fest, where can they, where can they find that information? Well, to find out more about Galcom, just galcom.org, G-A-L-C-O-M, so galcom, uh, dot org. Uh, and our website, there's all the information there, the, the tools that we use for missions, the opportunities to serve, all the, the history, all of everything's there. Uh, and then for Mission Fest Manitoba, I would just Google Mission Fest Manitoba and all of the dates and times and schedule and speakers and all the, the different exhibitors that it's all, it's all there. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, Tim, for joining us. And I'm sure that make sure you bring your sunglasses and your sun hat because it's going to be 30 <laughs> degrees and sunny when you're here in February. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe we want to go with us on a trip somewhere. I mean, you're working in radio. you got some skills. You want to come over to Tanzania, do some radio training? What do you yeah, think? Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> find, out, find out here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you All so right. much for having us on.